This is Twit. We conclude with this week's best hack of the new decade. Oh, my God. Uh, so the question we pose, why would an ingenious German performance artist place 99 active cell phones into a little red wagon and walk them around the streets of Berlin. Everybody, let's think about that. Why would an ingenious German performance artist place 99 cell phones, operating cell phones, into a little red wagon and patiently walk them around the streets of Berlin? The answer because it brilliantly confused and spoofed Google Maps into believing that there must be a massive traffic congestion since so many cars were all moving so slowly through a region of the city. Uh, he, we, he's, th there's a YouTube uh, in the show notes and I snapped a, a, a picture of it from his website showing him all alone. And, and it's not clear what time of day it is, but, you know, I mean, it's the sun's up or he's there. There's a big shadow being cast by him and it's not the moon. He is alone on the street because Google Maps shows an absolute red in both directions for like a good distance. And so maybe... Everybody's thought, oh, shoot, I can't go the way I normally do. Apparently, this bridge is like gone. So I'm going to have to go somewhere else and drive around. So he's walking these streets during the day, and there's no other cars. There's no traffic because apparently everyone's using Google Maps now. And it's like, oh, uh, shoot, uh, got to find some other way to go. Incredible. Anyway, I just thought that was such an amazing hack. It, and and the, the video shows his little red wagon with this like just filled with 99 cell phones, which he's all by himself just walking through the streets of Berlin. And Google Maps is basically non-functional. He tried uh, um, and he had, they each had their own SIM. So, uh, right. so, it, so they were unique. And he right. tried stopping, but he said Google Maps wasn't affected unless I move. You have to have some movement. That makes sense that they would, well, because like if, if, if you're in a restaurant or stopped on the side of the road, no movement doesn't indicate like right. legal just traffic. Yeah. Yeah. He also said he, and see, I think we're getting a little more detail than the video. He had uh -huh. to bring the car up and down the same street many times. He says also when another vehicle drove past using Maps, Google system said, oh, there's no traffic jam and set the street back oh, to green. Oh, nice. So Google was kind of actively fighting It was doing this. everything it could to, 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 de, de, well, to filter out any yeah. extraneous reporting. Nine to five, uh, Google talked to uh, a spokesperson from Google and got uh, this statement. Whether via car or cart or camel. We love seeing creative uses of Google Maps as it helps us make maps work better over time. Traffic data in Google Maps is refreshed continuously thanks to information from a variety of sources, including aggregated anonymized data from people who have location services turned on. But either way, uh, he got the idea for this after seeing the Hong Kong uh, protests and seeing Google Maps affected by that, even though probably uh. most of those protesters weren't running maps at the time. Uh, he also, the, Google goes on to say, and contributions from Google Maps community. We've launched, here we go, we've launched the ability to distinguish between cars and motorcycles in several countries, including India, Indonesia, and Egypt. That's because motorcycles, traffic split and cut through and drive yeah. around, and so they go a lot faster. Yeah, and so that was generating false non-traffic reports. Yeah. They say, yeah, they go on to say, even though we haven't quite cracked traveling by wagon, we, <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate seeing creative uses of Google Maps like this. So uh, they, cool. they, they took it in the spirit in which it was intended instead of saying, Very how cool. dare you? <laughs> Very cool. It's interesting. I mean, uh, it, you learn a little bit about what Google Maps is doing. And yeah, somebody said, well, how do they know it's not 100 people? 
I don't know. I don't know. There, there's a there's a lot of heuristics going on in all yeah. of Google stuff. There's Gate and so forth. They're they're looking well, and at we a lot know of that and we know that heuristics false positive and false negative. I mean, heuristics are like rules of thumb by nature. So it's doing the best job it can. I mean, so and really, when you think about it, it's entirely inferential. It's inferring course, yeah. something about the real world from the collection of data that that it's getting a subset of always, the real world not always right yeah yeah although i think it's very telling that as soon as a car goes goes by it goes oh yeah that's not a traffic jam so yeah. no doubt as soon as this guy stopped going up and down with his little red wagon the streets went back to green yeah. <laughs> uh, it does it's fun though isn't it and it's it, it's a great video to watch him pulling his little his little wagon <laughs>